This video will show you how I cloned the hard drive from this ASUS all-in-one PC to a Samsung 860 EVO solid state drive. The first thing I did was to make sure I was ordering the correct SSD and I used this program called Winfo. I downloaded it, it's a free program I'm just running it here and it'll give me information on my PC. Once it's opened, it's telling me that the speed of the connection to the hard drive. And it's telling me it's six gigabytes. This line below is another SATA connection that's going to the DVD player. And so with that information, I can order the correct solid state drive. And for me, that's a SATA 3 solid state drive. SATA 3 is backward compatible to SATA 2 and SATA 1. But obviously, if your connection speed is slower, it would slow down the performance of your SSD. Now you need to download Samsung Magician. I'll leave a link to that in the video description and a program called Macrium Reflect. And there's another link to that in my description. Now I have to get the information from this PC onto this drive. And to do that, I need an enclosure. And that's what this is. It's a 2.5 inch hard drive enclosure. And I've pushed the pins of the SATA 3 solid state drive into the enclosure and that then changes the connection into a USB 3 and when I plug that into the PC I'll be able to stream the information from the PC onto this solid state drive so I'll do that now and I know it's plugged in because the blue light tells me so so I'm just going to put that down carefully now, the next thing is I need software to migrate the system across, to clone it. And I use Macrium Reflect. I'm using that because it easily allows you to change the size of the partitions. And my C drive, my operating system, is nearly full. And so I want, when I migrate the information across, I want my C drive to be three times, four times as big. And then I've got plenty of space for new programs that I might want to use in the future. So I need to show you how that's going to work. But unfortunately, when I tried before, the stream recorder that I used interfered with the process. So I'm going to film this with the camera. Its quality won't be as good as what I'd like to show you, but I need to have the data transferred safely and correctly and I'm not going to risk playing about with screen recorders while I do that. So that's what we're going to do next. What I need to do is click on the Macrion Reflect icon and it will open this window. I'm going to say yes to that and when it opens this is the drive that I want to clone from and the area I'm going to clone it into is this area here, which is the new drive. So I have to click clone this disk. Then I have to click select a disk to clone from. Then I click in this area here, just a left click. Then I can drag and drop the partitions I want cloning. I want to clone this first partition so I left click and drag this first partition into the SSD. Then I do the same with the second partition. These partitions contain such things as your Windows boot partition and the activation key. The C partition contains the operating system but needs increasing in size. So I'm going to click clone partition and then here 
I can hover over it, left click, and I can drag, and I can increase the size of that partition. I'm going to come up so that, as you see here, it's saying basically 655 gigabytes, and I've still got a terabyte of free space. And I'm quite happy with that. That's going to be enough for me. So then I click on OK. You might want to clone this partition. I'm not going to, but I'm going to clone the recovery drive partition. And I've got this amount of space left. That's over one terabyte. And I'm going to leave this unallocated. Let's go next. I need to go next. And I need to just look through this and check what is going to happen. And then I can click finish. That is OK. And it is cloning. So now I've just got to sit back and wait. See the cloning has started. And I'm going to switch off the camera now. And the cloning completed in less than half an hour. In fact, it only took 27 minutes. So I'm going to come down to the left hand side of the screen, left click. I'm in the start screen. I'm going to type in disk. And it's already come up, create and format hard disk partitions. So I'm going to click on that, that's disk management. And I'm going to then open this screen. Now that is the old drive and this is the new clone drive. And I've got this area here of unallocated space. And I want to create a new volume in this partition for my storage. Windows will allocate a new letter to this partition. I'm going to click and right click actually, then click new simple volume, click next. And so I need a number in here that will allow me at least 10% of the drive size. Then take that number off the unallocated partition then use that number as my storage partition. That will leave at least 10% unallocated for over provisioning. Over provisioning makes the SSD work and live longer. To make matters more interesting, that number has to be in megabytes. If I put in 9880000, and then click next, it's going to allocate it H. Yeah, yes, I want to go next. I want NTFS, which is the is correct. I click next and I can look through all of this and that seems OK. Then I click finish and I have now a H, really one terabyte thereabouts. And I have this unallocated space, which is more than 10% of the overall drive size. And that will prolong the life of this Samsung SSD. What I'm going to do now is to take the solid state drive out of this enclosure, because that's going to go into the computer. And then I'm going to put an old laptop drive, which I use, as a backup into this enclosure and I can then use that as backup for my laptop or PC and I'll leave a link in the description below to this product. Now we have to swap the old hard drive for this solid state drive. You can use the YouTube card at the end of this video to see how we did this. There are other cards to take you to the products we used in this project. And there's a card to take you to how to use the Samsung Magician program.